Okay, so this is me. I'm Pete Langus uh, from Nerdio. I lead our uh, strategic partnerships and our distribution agreement. So I've been working with Ingram for couple years now. We started in the U.S. and have expanded around the world, and it's been a very good, strong partnership and excited to talk to everybody this afternoon. Um, our mission is really to empower MSPs and managed service providers, partners, resellers, whatever you'd like to call them, to build successful cloud practices in Microsoft Azure. So um, let me tell you a quick little story that, that brings everything together, and then I'll dive into to more of the details. But um, a couple years ago, we had a partner who was looking for a way to move about 150 users uh, from an on-premise solution into Microsoft Azure. And he was really struggling with how he was going to do that. He wanted to do a true lift and shift, move the whole infrastructure out of the customer's premise and into Azure. And he estimated it was probably going to take him somewhere between four and six weeks to set everything up, to test everything, to migrate users. Um, he found Nerdio and he ended up using us to help with the whole project. And instead of four to six weeks, it took him a couple of days. So this is really what, what Nerdio does. It really makes life a lot easier as you're trying to um, transform businesses and move them into Azure. Uh, the, the company is relatively young. So um, I enjoyed the story on the on uh, Cronus and the Mars rover. We haven't done anything like that. Um, but we're, we're a, you know, a younger, smaller company. We move very fast. Um, we started in, in 2016. We actually grew out of a managed service provider. So our founder had, had, had worked on a, with a managed service provider for about 10 years. And that MSP uh, was very early in the cloud. We did a lot of online cloud storage. And then we started doing uh, virtual desktops and virtual servers. So we have a lot of expertise in not only the technology, but also how these partners tend to run their businesses. So nothing we've done is we've created in a vacuum. We really understand how MSPs operate their businesses. Um, and, and the reason we understand is we wrote Nerdio to actually help our MSP business. So at the time we had a private cloud and we were struggling with how to, um, how to deploy very consistent environments for our customers. So every time we got a new customer, we were doing things differently. Someone, someone would do it one way, another engineer would do it another way. And so we got the idea of automating a lot of the tasks and writing some software to make that happen. So that's how Nerdia was born. It was actually an internal tool for us. And once we did that, um, what, we, what we figured correctly was that there'd be other MSPs like us who would be very interested in that kind of technology and enabling them to, to build out different kinds of virtual workloads in the cloud. Um, what we didn't expect is that when we took it to market that there would be such a, an interest in Microsoft Azure. So while people loved our technology and they agreed with automating a lot of very mundane tasks was, was a better way to go, what they really wanted was not to be in our private cloud, they wanted to be in Microsoft Azure. And so in 2017, Microsoft uh, or uh, Nerdio produced uh, Nerdio for Azure, which was specifically designed to help these MSPs build their Azure practice. Um, we've continued to enhance Nerdio. Um, it comes with white labeling, with all kinds of other tools to help the MSP build that Azure practice. Um, and with the support of Windows Virtual Desktop, WVD, uh, when that came out last fall, uh, the, the support was there right off the bat to enable MSPs to be in the position to deliver WVD solutions as well. So we've we've really followed Microsoft as they've moved along on their WVG journey. Um, as you can imagine, we're very tightly aligned with Microsoft. Um, we're, we're actually a Microsoft partner. We're an ISV with them. We're co-sell ready. We're in the Azure marketplace. So um, we're... As Microsoft goes, we go. Uh, we don't support other clouds. This is a very Microsoft-centric company. Um, as we were developing, micro, uh, excuse me, Nerdio for Azure, uh, we started, you know, bringing our our product out to market, and we kept hearing the same challenges from MSPs who were trying to transact in Azure. We would hear from them that it was going to be expensive. It was going to be complex and it was going to be risky. And, you know, I, I would guess for partners on the call and folks at Ingram, you're hearing much of the same things. You know, how do I really start that Azure practice? Um, the, there's a perception that 
Azure is expensive. So not only from the standpoint of having to go hire Azure engineers and people that really know what they're doing with Azure, there's also the whole idea of pricing an Azure workload. And if you look at something that's on-prem and compare that to running it 24 by seven in Azure, the, the numbers never make sense. So, you know, part of this is education. Part of it is some technology we've built to, um, to kind of help model things correctly, but nonetheless, there is that perception that Azure is expensive for customers. The second thing we hear consistently, uh, we still hear this, is that Azure is complex. And so while it's a very powerful platform with a lot of different services, because there are so many services, sometimes MSPs will look at that and throw their hands up and say, you know what, I can't figure out how to make all this work together. I don't know which services to pull. I don't know how they integrate. I don't know what I use when. And so this kind of complexity that exists with Azure can be very daunting for some MSPs. And then the last thing we tend to hear a lot of is that there's this perception that Azure is risky. So MSPs are of the mindset that they're going to have to go hire uh, new staff, and then they're going to have to model things on a consumption basis where, you know, most MSPs run their business where they buy something at X and sell it at something more than X. And now comes along this consumption model where you don't know exactly what your bill is going to be because it's based on usage and not going and buying a box. And so there's that risk that someone could quickly, very quickly turn upside down. Um, and how are they going to make money on the deal? So expensive, complex, risky. These are some of the things that we have heard very consistently over the last you know, four years with respect to Microsoft Azure. And so what Nerdio really tries to do is address those pain points. So we've built Nerdio for Azure to be really a tool that addresses uh, pricing for MSPs as they transact in Azure, deployment, management, and optimization. So let's start with pricing, because to me as a sales guy, that's, that's really the most important thing. Um, one of the things we've done is that we've determined that uh, while there's a lot of different things you can do in Azure for MSPs, it really boils down to a couple things. You know, the first thing is just doing a, an infrastructure as a service type deployment. So standing up a VM or two, you know, maybe it's a web server, maybe it's a line of business server, but something that doesn't involve any virtual desktops, right? It's just taking something that has existed on-prem and moving it into Azure. So that's that's use case number one. The second use case really evolves around uh, virtual desktops. So taking desktops that have previously existed only on-prem, or maybe someone took them home and, and did a VPN back to the home office, but the uh, the ability to create a virtual desktop and stand it up in Azure is the other, the other use case that we really focus on. So by taking that mindset, what we've been able to do is build something called a cost estimator that allows partners to model out and estimate out what a, a scenario would look like in either that IaaS use case or the, the virtual desktop use case. And we've built this tool, and, and when we do our, our uh, you know, our hour-long webinar, we can do a very deep dive into the tool because it's pretty slick. But it essentially gives the MSP the ability to model out what these different workloads look like based on number of users, based on what kind of um, backup they want to do based on setting up a, a VPN, um, based on different on-ramp regions. Um, they essentially can build out a quote and have a very, very good estimate of what that's going to cost in Azure. And then they can price their offering uh, appropriately. Uh, this has been a very successful tool for most of our partners. They're, they use it every day. And they've been able to, by using this tool, command you know 40 to 50 percent margins when they create their offerings as they go to market. So it's a really good tool for them, and and really addresses that whole fear of getting upside down in terms of cost and takes away a lot of that risk. Um, so let's say that they've used our pricing tool and everything's good, and they're going to go ahead. They get the customer sign off. They're going to deploy a workload. They're going to use. Um, our, our automation software to do that deployment. So it's super simple. For an MSP, you already have uh, the Nerdio platform in play. You go to your friends at Ingram, you get a Azure subscription. You use Nerdio to link to that Azure subscription. You give the deployment uh, customer, you give them a name. You pick which kind of license you're use, using. So you're either doing an IaaS type uh, license or a virtual desktop license. You fill that information in, you press a button, and in somewhere between two and three hours, our machinery goes through, and we build out this standardized architecture um, ready to go. 
So it's it's literally you know easy enough that a salesperson can do a lot of this work, which is which is kind of scary, but pretty amazing at the same time. So um, it really speeds up the deployment process. It makes it very accurate, and it's very standardized. So every deployment looks the same when you're using Nerdio. It makes it really easy to go in and and, and troubleshoot and add new things. Um, once a uh, a new deployment has happened, you're going to want a management. So similarly. We've built out an interface that makes it really easy to do different management tasks. So things like adding uh, storage space to a VM, adding a new user, um, all these things become point and click and again, able to be done by uh, a very lower level engineer. And by doing that, you can take your higher level engineers and put them you know, more customer facing or in more value added services. So really a lot of operational leverage that goes into things here. The last thing we help with is optimization. We do this along a couple scales. The first is from a pricing standpoint, we can help you model out things like Azure hybrid usage and reserved instances to make sure that you're pricing everything appropriately. And then from a performance standpoint, um, because of the, the architecture, the way it's built, you'll know that the, the system is going to perform very well. It's built on Microsoft's cloud, so it's obviously extremely reliable. Um, we've also built in something called auto scaling. That means we can set up VMs and, and by, by doing that and by tying into virtual desktops uh, with our auto scaling, we can make sure that the environment actually expands and contracts based on either uh, events like CPU usage or time of day scheduling so that the environment is actually right sized for whatever is going on. And so by doing that, the pricing really lines up with uh, what, what customers have come to expect. So, Pricing, deployment, management, and optimization. Those are the four investment areas we've made in the tool. Um, if you want to think about where Nerdio fits in, you know, at the center of the circle here is really everything you get from Azure. So you have virtual desktops, uh, which is WVD. You have um, Office or M365, uh, which we tie into servers, backup, et cetera. Um, on the outside circle would be your traditional MSP services. So migration services, monitoring, help desk, and then Nerdio is really that circle in the middle that holds everything together. Uh, in terms of what it looks like, um, you, your MSPs, you, you go to the, uh, the Ingram Marketplace, you get a what we call a zero SKU subscription to Nerdio that gives you access to the platform. And then within Nerdio, you're able to go in and deploy all your customers. So it's a single pane of glass. You get a view of all the accounts you've fired up, and that's where you also will stand up new accounts. So really, really simple to, to transact and use. Uh, we have three different plans. So we have our core plan, which is for IaaS deployments. Um, think of that one. The easiest way to think of it is no desktops, and that's 59. Sorry about the dollar sign there. It's 59 euro per customer per customer account per month. So whether the customer has one VM or 100 VMs, if there's no desktops, it's just 59 dollars um, per customer account per month. Uh, we also have two plans to support WVD or you know virtual desktops. We can also support RDS if there's a, a reason to, maybe an old application or something like that. But almost all the deployments we've been doing, and we've done hundreds of these, by the way, over the last five or six months, um, they're all using WVD services. Um, we have two flavors there. We have the professional flavor and the enterprise license. They both stand up WVD. Um, they're either $8 or $12 per desktop user per month. Um, and everything we do is based on consumption basis. So the first of the month, we look at the previous month and we bill you for what you actually use. Um, one thing I'll mention is your customers in 99.9% .9 of the cases will never know about Nerdio. It's really a tool that's designed for service providers to deliver Azure solutions to their customers. So it's an internal tool you're using similar to an RMM like a Kaseya or a ConnectWise, something like that. Uh, lastly, just to kind of wrap it up, you know, how we help. I think we're really about three things. We're about less risk, we're about less work, and we're about bigger rewards. So on the less risk side, we're helping with pricing and packaging to make sure that your margins are going to be where you want them to be, uh, and taking away that, that risk of not making money. Um, we do that through our cost optimization, too. And our, autom our automation means that you can very you can feel very confident that every time you do a deployment, it's going to look the same, it's standardized, and you're going to know exactly what you're getting. So we really try to take some of that risk off the table. Um, you really should find that Nerdio gives you the ability to to work 
uh, a lot faster and uh, not as hard. Um, we make the deployment super easy. We make the management super easy. And so you'll find, again, that you get a lot of operating leverage uh, using Nerdio to throw lower level resources at a lot of the heavy lifting that previously would have to be done straight up in Azure. So lots of um, lots of benefits there. And then the last thing is really on, on, in terms of a bigger reward, you'll get better margins. Um, the, the other thing you'll see is that with Nerdio, you can start building, and, and our, our top partners are doing this, they're building some really, really nice offerings where they bundle in different services. So they're not just selling a virtual desktop, they're selling really an end user experience that might include you know, backup for Office 365, it might include antivirus, uh, communications, you know, UCAS, uh, wrapping, uh, wrapping phone service in there, wrapping bandwidth in there. And in the States, we have partners that are charging, you know, 200 or $250 per end user per month to take care of that end user, which sounds like a lot of money. Um, but when you think about it, all the value that you can build into that and the ability for a company to add a user and know exactly what it's going to cost them to add that employee, it's, it's very, very powerful. Um, the, the other thing I'll say is that we also tend to see a lot of MSPs uh, producing what we call drag on revenue. So professional services, more engagements, new projects, things like that. Um, lastly, and you know, this is what it's really all about is you're driving um, Azure revenue, which you know, uh, we all like and that, that's a good thing too. Getting started, uh, I'll point you in two places. The first is we have a very rich revs, uh, website um, featuring what we call the Nerdio Academy. So if you go to this web address here, you'll see all kinds of videos, uh, articles, white papers, tools. Um, you could spend you know days, if not weeks there, learning about not only Nerdio, but about Azure as well. So we've really tried to position ourselves as a thought leader around Azure, building an Azure practice, and then around WVD. So you'll see on LinkedIn and, and uh, other social media venues, you'll see a lot of content coming out from Nerdio as it relates to WVD. Um, the other thing you can do is if you go to the Ingram Marketplace, uh, if you sign up for Nerdio, you have the ability to uh, get what we call an internal use license, which gives you 10 free enterprise licenses per month. Um, you know, By doing that, you can stand up Nerdio within your own environment and, and play around with it yourself and get familiar with it. Okay, sounds like my voice is starting to go, so I'm going to exit out of here and uh, see if there's any questions.